Hello, once again, it's late, but I just had to share Psalm 65 with you. And also, I wanted to show you what the putty looks like now. Okay. It's pretty fascinating watching the transformation. So, little by little, this putty is doing what fluids do. And you know what the definition of a fluid is? Again, it's something that deforms uniformly in the presence of shear stress. And here we are seeing this fluid do exactly that. And so, um, somebody asked me to share where in the Bible it talks about the earth. And I thought, I couldn't think of a more perfect psalm or passage than Psalm 65. Uh, to the chief musician, a psalm and song of David. Praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Zion. And unto thee shall the vow be performed. O, that, o thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come iniquities prevail against me as a, as for our transgressions thou shalt purge them away blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee that he may dwell in thy courts we shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house even of thy holy temple by terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us o god o god of our salvation who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth again who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are afar, that are afar off upon the sea, which by his strength setteth fast the mountains being girded with power, which stilleth the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visitest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provi provided for it. Thou waterest the riches thereof abundantly. Thou settlest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness and thy and thy paths drop fatness they drop upon the pastures of the wilderness and the little hills rejoice on every side the pastures are clothed with flocks the valleys also are covered over with corn they shout for joy they also sing and I will repeat Psalm or verse five of that psalm. By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who art the confident confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are that are afar off upon the sea. I've said it at once. I've said it once and I'm going to say it again. God is terrible. And God is to be feared, but I don't know if I've said this. I'm going to quickly just, so that was Psalm 65. Now I'm going to double that. Psalm 130. And I might just have to read that one too in context because it is so good. And it gives my favorite reason for fearing God. A song of degree. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord, or Yahweh, Lord, or Adonai, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, or Yehoah, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, or Adonai, Sovereign Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I repeat, but there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, or Yehoah. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, or Yehoah. For with the Lord, or Yehoah, there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. Redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Well, I want to declare that even though I am grieved with what David Icke has... By the way, I love David Icke. 
David Icke has identified as Rothschild Zionism. I'm no more anti-Semitic than David Icke is, and he's not anti-Semitic. Some people might insinuate that he is. That's ridiculous. I love David Icke. He should become a believer, in my opinion, but that's between him and God. But I pray that God will preserve me and us from being anti-Semitic. These Rothschild Zionists do grieve me. Certain Jews have been hard-hearted. But I declare that uh, I am going to love God and love his people and know that all Israel will be saved. And uh, God will judge us according as our works shall be. So our works had better be good. But I wanted to give you uh, some scriptures like that on... Uh, like that Psalm 65 was one of the most beautiful pictures of the flat earth. And with that, I'm going to say, uh, there's our putty one last time. And, uh, God willing, if I can get up early enough to quickly record a video before I go to work, then I'll see you tomorrow morning. I just read about waiting for the morning in Psalm 130, so again... My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Good night, and again, I love it.